up under the, the seven and up under Apostle Tahar. But guess what? For whatever reason, you know, they went out and taught taught another doctrine and um and did it out of gain to uh to receive uh monetary gain. Okay, so that this specifically uh pertains to them. It says um Verse four, the disease, the diseased have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick. And, w and what it specifically meaning is those who, who have lost the understanding of the scriptures, who don't know the truth. And these pseudo Israelite groups and these fake ass pastors in these churches, they haven't strengthened the people or healed them. OK, because they're sick in the head. They don't have understanding. They still in 2017 uh, saying calling on Jesus. OK, when it's a simple Google search shows you that. His name wasn't Jesus. Okay, it says, Neither have you bound up that which was broken, neither have you brought again that which was driven away, neither have you sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. Okay, and they were scattered because there is no shepherd, and they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. <laughs> okay, so this is it's a common trend, man. The most high, hey. He used the wild beast, man, to, hey, because he's, uh, I'm not sure where it happened, but this, uh, nigga woman most likely sitting by a dumpster sm smoking crack or something or doing something she wasn't supposed to do because the scriptures say whoever perished being innocent, she didn't perish or whatever, but, uh, uh, Esau, the police, they, they let that dog loose on her, you know, and they claim to be looking for someone else, but they let the dog loose on her and they bit the shit out of her and she was screaming, <laughs> She was screaming for her life, man, and, you, and the, the, the look on her face was complete horror. And you see that when guys get bit and chased by canines, they actually lose it. Okay, so imagine when you know the Most High turns the spirit up on these these uh, uh, so-called domesticated animals to uh, go back to their wild state, man. It's gonna be all out here. That's that's one of the scariest things, man, to have a, a wild beast bearing down on you. Okay, hey, but hey. People are asking for it, you know. You don't want to turn back to the Heavenly Father, okay? You're not acknowledging that you're being led into a ditch by these false teachers. Hey, then you got to deal with the beasts of the earth. And that's just one. That's just one um, way the most I uh, can put you to death, which is a horrible way, you know. But, um, hey, like I said, I wanted to bring light to it and magnify it, okay? Okay, let me get some more scripture. This is... uh. Let's see where we're going. Okay, let's go to uh let's go to Revelations six and eight. Okay. Mm. Uh Revelation six and seven and when he had opened the fourth seal. I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. Verse eight. And I looked and behold, a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. OK. <laughs> And this is a, a last book of the Bible, man. Just a reiterating, pushing that, that 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 vibration of these beasts, man. These wild beasts. Okay, and people, hey, that, that's that's a scary sight. Like I said before, man. And and that, and, and and just seeing how the Most High always incorporates that with uh, judgments, it, it shows you the severity of, of 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 meeting that that fate. You know. And that's why, hey, it's 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 uh, it's imperative <laughs> to get with the heavenly Father, man, because the shit that's about to happen, nobody's built for, but the elect of the nation of Israel, which is one third of the nation of Israel, which will be saved. And that's that's the fact of the matter, okay. But it, it starts with believing. You you better believe. Well, the Most High got a a, a plethora of ways to get on your ass, and that's that's what's about to happen very soon, okay. So we'll close out with this one. Um, just to validate that this is what brings it full circle because yeah we, we validated that he's going to use the wild beast to put people to death but here's the here's the here's the comfort in that this is Job the fifth chapter it says um, mm, let's 
verse 19. I'll start at 18. Job 5 and 18. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He wounded and his hands make whole. Okay, so that's the pretty much the history of the nation of Israel. He, he's made us sore. He he binded up. He's wounded us. And now we're in the process of making us whole. Verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Verse 20. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. And this goes into, you know, Avoiding his judgments, coming back to the law, statutes, commandments, being brotherly, uh, 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 understanding that his name wasn't Jesus, you know, getting to the basics and knowing that we 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 uh we have a high power that we should serve and, and finding out our heritage, man. OK, and it's all about believing. It says in famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. And we're rapidly approaching upon that time. That's all you see. The, the threats of famine, death, war, pestilence, and the sword, meaning death by any means necessary. Okay, in verse 21, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. And that's going to out, speaking on uh, the ones that are doing what they need to do in these times and seeking the Heavenly Father with their whole heart. Okay, because people are going to be bugging the fuck out. We're going to see some shit that the world has never seen. Okay, but those who seek the heavenly father, what does it say? It say that you should be here from the score of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Verse 22, at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Okay, because that's the spirit the Most High is going to pour out on his elect, which is the one third of the nation of Israel. And, and starting with the 144,000, they're going to laugh at this shit, you know, because we're laughing at it now. We see trains derail and, 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 and 100 people get hurt and 40 deaths or whatever they may be. We laugh at that shit, man. Why? Because we know that's judgment from the Heavenly Father over wicked uh, uh, heathens or niggers who deserve death, man. OK. But here's the key. The key. It says, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. OK. Showing you that. <laughs> there are gonna people. There are gonna be people that are going to be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Why? Because they're gonna be devouring, devouring them, just like I, you know, brought out in all these other scriptures, man. Okay, and those are the spirits. Those be spirits that the Most High created for vengeance. Okay, so hey, uh, it'll behoove you get get yourself right, man. Tighten up, cause uh. <laughs> You don't want that, like I showed that tiger bearing down on you, man, or that 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 uh, pit bull, so, a pit bull to tear you in half, man. So imagine what a lion or a tiger would do, okay? Hey, but the blueprint is here in the scriptures, man. Turn to the heavenly Father with your whole heart, heart, and in destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, okay? So Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, I want to say, how about Shimei?